Hello students. Students, in this video, we will study about the Lenz formula. What is the Lenz formula? And we have to know what is the magnification of lens. We know that the second principal focus of convex lens is right hand side of the lens f2 and the first principal focus of convex lens is left hand side of the lens and for concave lens the first principal focus of concave lens is in the right hand side and the second principal focus of the concave lens is in the left hand side okay now and we know that the focal length of any lens like that convex lens or concave lens the focal length for thin convex lens is the fo uh, second uh, focal length of the lens so the second principal focus of this lens is this so the distance from optical center this would be the second uh, focal length of convex lens f2 okay so for thin lens f2 we can write here equal f f sorry f so now today onwards we have to remember that the focal length of the convex lens is the second focal length is equal to the second focal length and if the direction of incident ray is left to right and this distance is measuring from optical center from here the this is the distance direction of distance measuring these are same that's why this distance will be positive so the distance of second principal focus will be positive positive today onwards we have to remember that the second focal length of the convex lens is the focal length of thin lens and the uh, focal length of convex will be positive if the direction of incident is left to right and if the direction of incident is left to right in the concave lens then this is the second principal focus that's why this will, the distance will be second focal length f2 so the focal length for concave lens will be second focal length because f2 is in the left hand side and that this distance is measuring from o along this direction this is opposite to the direction of incident ray so this will be negative okay so we must have to remember that the focal length for convex lens is positive and the focal length of concave lens is negative if the direction of incident ray is left to right okay now if an object is placed in front of the lens here okay now the image will be this is the parallel light ray so it will go through the principal focus okay and light ray towards the optical center without deviation okay now the, so image will be formed in this position this is image and this is object let a b h object then a dash b dash will be image you know and now this is the point and this is the distance of object distance of object is taken by u and the distance of image is represented by v and the focal length of lens is f so you know this is let the direction of incident rays along this direction and this distance is measured from right to left so this will be negative because this is the uh, opposite to the incident ray and this is same to the incident ray 
that's why the distance of image will be positive okay distance of image will be positive distance of object will be negative and for the concave lens if this is the direction of incidentally and this is the object light ray on extending here and light ray will emerged will be emerged without deviation so here will be made an image a dash b dash if object is a b okay now in this case this is the distance of object it is denoted by u and this is image so this distance is the distance of image v both distance are measured from point o and in the left hand side but the direction of incidentally is left to right hand side so these distances will be negative negative and negative for convex lens negative distance of object negative distance of image positive in the case of concave lens distance of object is negative and distance of image is also negative now we will know what is the lens formula so the lens formula is the relation between the distance of object and the distance of image and focal length of lens okay and this relation is 1 upon u plus 1 upon v equal 1 upon f where here minus is there so this equation can be written as 1 upon v minus 1 upon u equal 1 upon f so this is the lens formula this lens formula is very important for uh, solving the numerical problems related to the lens formula okay so you must have to remember this formula one question is always asked uh, related to the lens formula so you must have to remember this formula and you have to solve the numerical problems related to the lens formula in these diagrams in the first diagram when object is placed beyond 2f in the left hand side of the lens then image is formed between f and 2f in the left right hand side of the lens and in this case if a object is placed between f and 2f here image is formed beyond 2f in the right hand side of the lens and if object is placed at the principal focus then image is formed at the infinity okay you know the image formed the size of image in this case the size of image is smaller than the object in this case size of image is greater than the size of object in this case size of image will be enlarged okay means highly uh, magnified of the uh, this object here we can say that the size of image is depends on the position of object if this object is brought near the lens the size of object size of image is increasing and size of image is increasing and the distance distance is also increased so we can say that the size of image and the distance of image it depends on the size of object okay so we can see that magnification of lens is denoted by small m and it is equal to the size of size of image to the size of object this is the uh, formula or this is the definition of the magnification or it is also called the linear magnification so what is the linear magnification or what is the only magnification of the lens magnification of the lens is the ratio of the size of image 
to the size of object okay so what is what will be the sign of the magnification for the lenses and what is the formula what will be the formula of magnification of lenses so here we will derive a relation for lenses so let this is the convex lens and this is the principal axis of the lens and here this is the optical center here f first principal focus and here 2f and here second principal focus and here 2f okay if this is the object ab light ray parallel to the principal axis will go through the second principal focus and if the light ray towards the optical center passing through the lens the light ray will meet at this point this is image a dash b dash okay in this here triangle a b o and a dash b dash o are similar triangle means triangle a b o and triangle o triangle a dash b dash o are similar okay that's why on applying the condition a dash b dash upon ab will be equal ob dash upon ob okay this is the equation first here by the sign convention this is the object so this will be the distance u and this will be in negative minus u and this is the distance of image so it will be positive v and the focal length of this convex lens is this the, the distance of second principal focus f this is positive okay so so by the sign convention a dash b dash will be equal notice this o b dash equal plus v and o b equal o b equal minus u and the focal length this will this will be o f equal plus f on putting the values in this equation this will be a dash b dash upon ab equal the value of ob dash is v and the value of ob equal minus u and a dash b dash is the size of size or height of image and ab is the size or height of object we can write here m equal by the definition of magnification height of let the height of object is h and the height of image is h dash then it will be h upon h dash upon h h dash upon h it will be a b dash upon a b okay so here m will be on putting the value of this a dash b dash upon o b equal m so m will be equal v upon u minus v upon u this is the formula of the magnification but m equal height of image to the height of object so we will get another formula h dash upon h height of image to the height of object 
इज इक्वल माइनस वी अपॉन माइन अपॉन यू दिस इज अनदर रिलेशन सो यू मस्ट हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस दिस वन दिस वन एंड द लेस फॉर्मूला ओके सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन और द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द मैग्निफिकेशन पावर ऑफ द लेंस here you have you must have to remember that the magnification of lens convex lens or concave lens for each lens convex lens or concave lens the magnification is always negative for the lens this is the value minus here this shows the negative value of magnification so this is also negative so here the magnification is always negative 